tonight. There's so many that called and text and pass. I can't be here. I pray for them in their absence. I think it's a word from the Lord tonight. Amen. I'm going to give to you Luke 5. Somebody say, No Jesus. No Jesus. It's only in that sermon series, and I'm not going to sleep outside of that because uh, I believe that we are in that flow, in that vein. Uh, we're talking about Jesus. And I want you tonight to hear the word of the Lord for your life tonight. Something's how I need the word. I need the word. Luke 5, Luke 5, 12 and 13. The text says, it's one of the villages Jesus met a man with an advanced case of leprosy. Don't miss that. When the man saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground, begging to be healed. Hallelujah. Lord, he said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. 13. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly, somebody say instantly. Instantly. Instantly the leprosy disappeared. And the Lord of Blessing to read. Here we go. It's holding around with the church say amen. Amen. We're going to use all topic all tonight. He is willing and able. He is willing and able. Look at somebody on your own and say, He's willing and able. He's willing and able. And he is faithful. Let us not only come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being good. Thank you, Lord, for being kind. Not God, but you know you're anointed. I think it's just an easy. Open the Bible and talk to you. People let them clearly receive the word. God, let nothing stop your flow. Need the power now, need the grace now. I'm a sinner, that's my right, James. I'm a sinner. Save for your living grace. God, as you preach, they came to hear the word from you. Jesus' name be prayed. Let your heart say amen. amen. He's willing and he's able. And family, I think, I think for far too long, we have all made God out to be this person who is out to keep us. God has this person who needs us. Look at this God who, who acts as if he is out to destroy our lives. Uh, sometimes, let's be honest, we act as if God does not care about our own well-being. Uh, we look at God as if he's procrastinating and bringing us what we need in our lives. And maybe that doesn't resonate with your spirit. Let me repeat myself. I'm thankful tonight that God is a God that's willing and able. Yeah. All right, that, that hits some of y'all here. You, you, I said tonight, you ought to thank God yeah. that we serve God that's willing and able. Yeah. And as if you have to understand that the reason why some of you won't receive it is because the enemy has had you fooled to thinking that the devil has supreme power when in actuality, the devil can't do anything that God did not give him the food to do. And I know you got trouble in your home, but I serve a God that's willing and able. I, I, I understand, I understand that your job is getting on your last, but some of you don't want to go to work tomorrow. Y'all ain't talking to me here. But I, but I come to talk to somebody tonight to tell you that I serve a God that's willing and able. I, I, I know, I know that Dr. Vivian really didn't help you and really didn't make you feel like you were at your best. It discouraged you and depressed you and got you confused and asking God some questions I can't even to encourage somebody to let ask you a God that's willing and able. And then some of you right now, you're facing some circumstances in your life that's bigger than your bank account. Don't be talking to me here. But I need somebody here to thank God that ask you a God that's willing and that's able. And, and people have said thanks for you and, and thought you would fail, but realizing now, you say, God, despite all the hell I've been through in my life, somehow I'm still standing up for people. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm praying don't wake me up tonight. I need somebody to give God a, a good and evil praise. I need somebody to give God a praise right yeah. now. That he's feeling. Yes, that he's feeling. Yes, Jesus. Yeah. Praise him. Pastor, Pastor, we didn't need. Pastor, we didn't mean that he is willing. He, he's willing means he's open to the possibility to bless your socks off. I'm glad you said that. that he, he's willing means he has no problem in providing everything that you need. And some of you right now, the reason why you survive every season of your life ain't because people will die for you. But let's be honest, the reason why you survive everything you did for you is because God kept on surviving you. And I want to praise God now, Lord, I praise God. He's willing, he's willing means as long as my faith takes action, he's open and ready. Yeah. He's really mean. He, he has to lift it off every restriction and waiting for me to take a step and to believe God. Yeah. And it's for my people who praise God. God says, I'm willing to do whatever you believe I can do. Yeah. All right. This God didn't get you to try out from here. God said for five people who are praying God, God said, I'm willing to do whatever you believe I can do. God said, I'm willing to do whatever you believe I can do. God said, I'm willing to do whatever you willing to give my kids a full scholarship to college. He, he's, really, he's willing to give me the job of my dream. He, he's willing to send you exactly what you need when you need it the most. And you grasp, tell me you grasp the fact that he's willing you remove every hindrance from your spirit that holds your faith hostage. See, the reason why I feel like one right now, right now, the century with all your living here, I don't care nothing about it. It's because uh, there have been times in my life, I know you've been there before, there have been times in my life when I was hoping that people would be willing to give me what I gave them. In the same return, I, I, was, I was hoping that really, I was hoping that people would be willing to treat me nice, like I treated them nice. So I talk to you. There have been times in my life, I know you've been there before, there have been times in my life when I was hoping that people would be willing Hey, 
Hallelujah. Now, I can't hear the pain. 